What color is a fridge? White, right. And what does a cow drink? Did I get you there? No, probably not. Today, as you may have guessed, we're talking about milky fragrances, milky cookies and caramel and soft sponge cake, madeleines, lemon cake, condensed milk, vanilla pudding or custard. We're talking about all the vanillic things that we like to eat. Ice cream with a chocolate drizzle and some caramel. Hmm. Are you hungry yet? Today was a really cold day, a warm sweater kind of day. And on days like these, I tend to go for gourmands, very edible gourmands, or resinous, ambery, benzoin kind of scents. But today I opted for the edible variety and I wore Let It Be Squee by Chabot. I'd also like to include Lyra by Xerjov or Casa Moratti and Ex Idolos Love and Crime. Um, so these three, Let It Be Squee, Ex Idolos Love and Crime, and Lyra are extremely similar, especially these two. This one doesn't have that citrusy opening or aspect to it, so that does make it differ a little. Um, and the fourth option that I'd like to discuss today is a budget-friendly option, a very popular hyped fragrance as well, Tendre Madeleine by uh, Les Senteurs, Les Senteurs Gourmands, or it's also called Tendre Madeleine by Laurence Dumont, I believe. This one, I think, cost me only about 23 euros for 100 ml. That That is obviously a steal. But I don't like it quite as much as the other three, especially the opening. It opens with a blast of zesty alcohol, but the lemon in it, the, the citrus in it, the bergamot more specifically, um, leans more towards the detergent end of the citrus spectrum so it's not my favorite uh, in the beginning but if you do have a little bit of patience um, it turns into a really nice edible madeleine like a sponge cake basically and it has a bit more woodiness to it than the other three uh, especially in the dry down so i do like it and especially at this price point you can't beat it it has that typical Laurence Dumont DNA, but I don't mind it. It's not my favorite. I don't grab for it too often. I kind of get tired of it more quickly than of other scents. Um, and especially the opening is just tough to get past for me. None of these are really complex. They don't develop much. They're basically very just vanilla cookies, cupcakes, caramel, um, which makes them good for layering because this on top of some pomelo paradis or orange sanguini or something else with a, an orangey or a citrusy um, vibe does really go nicely together it warms it up right away or it can also soften woodsy notes or um, other fragrances that you might find too sharp or hard or not sweet enough next up is lira uh, by Zerchov or Casa Moratti. Um, Lira is, is, is very popular. It's maybe a little overhyped, but it's, it's my favorite of the four, I think. So it opens with blood orange and vanilla. Uh, there's also lavender and jasmine in here, but I don't really get those. Uh, I do get a bit of the licorice, but not too prominently. Um, I mainly get the, the chocolate, cacao, vanilla, blood orange. That's the most noticeable for me. Uh, all of these have uh, notes of uh, citrus or blood orange or mandarin orange, no blood mandarin, except for the let it be squee. The opening is a little more sharp than the other three, uh, but I, I can appreciate it. It's a, it's a nice kind of sharp, not like the, the Tendre Madeleine, which is more of a synthetic citrus for me. Uh, so this, this citrus opening, is definitely one I prefer, but the dry down is also lovely. All of the fragrances I'm discussing today are all quite comforting and cozy and tender. They, they're all good fragrances to wear to bed because of the vanilla. None of these have very good longevity projection or sillage, but that's okay to me because I do wear them for myself because it's comforting and it's just really lovely to, to wear these. Uh, cuddled up with with a good book. So I don't need I don't need them to be too loud um, I also don't feel like smelling the the milky biscuit all the time when if I'm eating 
fish with broccoli, for example. I don't need it to, to scream too loudly in my face. But it's just nice to dig your nose into your arm and, um, and, and have whiffs of it come up as your skin warms up. Chabot is led to be squee. It doesn't have any citrus notes, actually. And this really does smell like straight up cookies dipped in warm condensed milk. Uh, it's very literal. It's very edible. It's also not uh, the, the biggest projector, but um, it doesn't need to be. Um, and this will take you straight back to your childhood. For me, it, it, it has an extra cozy aspect because it smells so much like condensed kitten milk or kitten milk. You know, the, the milk that you bottle feed kittens with. I had to do that at one point and I needed to mix kitten milk powder uh, with water and microwave that and the kittens would sit there in front of the microwave waiting and meowing for their food to arrive uh, So yeah, the kitchen smelled like this basically, uh, which is a really nice comforting uh, cozy nostalgic uh, scent for me and then we have Exidolo's love and crime Which is super similar to Xerojov's Lyra probably because this one has um, notes of uh, blood mandarin and this one of blood orange so both of them have something bloody in them this has a little more evolution to it and it's still not very complex but it's um, it does develop a little more than the other ones mm. and since uh, Lyra is cheaper than this one I would go for this one because I like it more Ex Idolus Love and Crime definitely has the blood orange and a drizzle of chocolate frosting and it has a bit of star anise. I get a bit of star anise, but not very distinctively. I wouldn't have guessed if I didn't read the notes beforehand. So very sweet, very sugary, very chocolatey. And um, yeah, very similar to Lyra. Uh, Lyra doesn't have the cacao notes um, per se, but it does also have the chocolate drizzle factor. Uh, probably it's the caramel. Uh, potato, potato, chocolate, chocolate, cho chocolate. Potato, chocolate. So which one's best? Nah, they're all good. This one, if you're on a budget. This one, if you want to smell like kittens and milk and don't need the the zesty notes. And these, yeah, yeah, on other occasions, they're all good. You can't go wrong. So sorry. This has been my first solo review video. I uh, do hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then don't refrain from subscribing and liking and commenting, uh, especially with this contest going on that we secretly would, wouldn't mind winning. And I will see you very soon. Bye. Anyway, rewind. I've decided to make a little video about my favorite um, milky cookie biscuit um, fragrances today. I knew that was a bad idea. Sorry about that. So. <laughs>